so interestingly enough 40 percent of the population of oahu had some japanese ancestry so um, in order to prevent sabotage the u.s uh, would often park their um, planes wingtip to wingtip along the runway uh, which made them very easy targets uh, at December 1941. And FYI, there was never any acts of sabotage documented at Pearl Harbor, but the paranoia led them to dock and uh, align their planes in a formation that was made them very easy targets. Here is a model of the USS Arizona. We're going to see it, it from above, which means it's underwater at this time. On the other side of the USS Battleship Memorial, directly to the right, is the Akagi, which is a uh, Japanese aircraft carrier where approximately 36 planes took off uh, as part of the first attack on December 7th. In 15 minutes, 36 planes were able to depart from this aircraft carrier. And um, the aircraft carrier was poised to replace the battleship as the dominant weapon of war. And military uh, historians say that uh, the age of the battleship ended on December 7th, 1941 at Pearl Harbor. These aerial torpedoes would be dropped out of a plane and in about 500 yards be able to destroy the uh, earth of the ship. Destruction from below. This is a photo of some of the Japanese troops uh, that bombed Pearl Harbor and uh, the object of their day-to-day -day training was to fit a man and plane together until each fighter and pilot knew and understood his craft and could put it through the paces as a jockey uh, on a racehorse. Harbor. The attack on Pearl Harbor was well planned and skillfully executed and the Japanese surprisingly used publicly available maps and charts and planning in carrying out their attacks. This is a copy of one that was used uh, by the submarine that uh, was made by the U.S. government that they used to figure out where things were and uh, where to hit. Over here, a little display about Admiral Yamamoto uh, and about his descent from a um, very respectful samurai family. And um, he actually studied and worked in the United States and uh, was opposed to war uh, against America, but he felt obliged to pursue a course that is precisely the opposite of his personal views. Uh, he was an avid gambler, and he didn't like the odds of war against the United States, but he would believe Japan could not win in the long run. But if war came, he just determined to strike first and strike hard. I love this picture. I think just the way it's laid out, like you're looking up at these men, not just with admiration, but from the perspective of them on the boat and you on land. So I really thought that was a cool use of uh, your photographic imagery and uh, just talks about how um, up until this point, radar was basically just thought of as just a toy of uh, the military and uh, nothing uh, uh, really helpful. But after Pearl Harbor, it became uh, well known that it was a major part of military importance. And uh, it's one of the uh, guns uh, from the um, U.S. side that we're uh, shooting some of the Japanese planes out of the sky. This is actually a cool relic. This is the uh, Japanese uh, reviewing the Pearl Harbor attack plane for their bomb station. The attack on Pearl Harbor, um, for many it took several moments to realize it was a real attack and uh, not just another training exercise. They said a lot of the um, ammunition boxes were still locked and uh, had to be sawed open. And men were shooting uh, pistols at the plane, throwing wrenches, whatever they can do. The U.S. was totally caught off guard. The USS Arizona burned for two and a half days and its power was cut off from the island and the black smoke filled the air. The only light that people could see 
was that of the USS Arizona burning for more than two days. I didn't know this, but uh, after the attack, martial law was quickly declared and remained in place until uh, October 1944, almost three years later. The army took charge of Hawaii's government, suspended constitutional rights, and uh, imposed censorship in the rear section of a 20 foot long Japanese aerial torpedo identical to the one that battered the U.S. fleet in Pearl Harbor. The sight of little kids trudging to school with gas masks uh, is something uh, that reminders of the horrors of war. Everyone in Hawaii had to carry, carry a uh, government issued gas mask whether military or civilian, young or old. This is a really captivating story. It's called The Scent of the Enemy. In October 1942, about a year after Pearl Harbor, Nosaka, this gentleman, and 24 others were selected for a secret training mission on Cat Island in Mississippi under the mistaken notion that the Japanese have a distinct scent, a smell, and the army ordered the uh, soldiers to train dogs to recognize and attack only the Japanese. Um, they were protected only by neck guards, face masks, and burlap sacks, and hockey gloves. They, uh, these men, these 24 Japanese men, uh, repeatedly endured attacks from the dogs. The ill-conceived experiment obviously failed. So approximately 5,000 Japanese that were living in Oahu were incarcerated at internment camps on Sand Island and elsewhere in Hawaii. Most lost their jobs and businesses, family and friends. Emotional suffering and loss of dignity ran deep. Trip. We're going to be taking this boat out to the USS Arizona Memorial in the distance, which lies on top of where the USS Mem Arizona is forever entombed in the Pacific. sunken ship and if you look really close amongst the uh, beautiful Pacific Ocean here you can see potentially little drabs of oil still coming up from the depths uh, said that they uh, they represent the uh, tears of the soldiers below sailors crying upwards survivors who have selected to have their uh, cremated remains uh, 